Hello, children. My name's Nonnie Wall, and this is Monkey. Now, we've taken tea, and as we always do after we've had our sandwiches and our cake, we're going to tell a story. Would you like to listen too? Good. Then make yourself comfortable, and I'll begin. Today, we're telling the sad's tale of Navy Cherry. Navy Cherry set to sea and bobbed along the waves. She taunted all the fishes, for she loved to misbehave. Forgive me, for I am so sweet, she chortled with a grin. The fishes sighed and rolled their eyes and then began to swim. Navy Cherry laughed out loud and made her next mistake. She tried to tease them even more, but got caught in their wake. Please stop, please stop, I am so lost, I don't know where I am. The fishes stopped and up she popped, all giggles at her plan. Navy Cherry thought it fine to wind these fishes up, but the third time she attempted it, the largest ate her up. The fishes had not a clue what to do with such a thing. So all as one, as fishes do, they took her to their king. Navy screamed and stamped her feet inside the fish's belly. Then all at once in Neptune's court he sicked up Navy Cherry. I'm sorry, sir. I am so small, she cried with sudden fear. I never thought to cause offence. I don't know why I'm here. I'll go straight home and never roam the bright and white blue sea. Neptune furled his ancient brow. That I guarantee. You'll leave my friends the fish alone and taunt them never more then swiftly grabbed and chewed her up and spat the stone to shore. Navy Cherry sat quite still, shocked by the to-do, and while she pondered what she'd done, her roots silently grew. Oh no, oh no, I shall not grow. I'm far too young for this. But grow she did into a tree whose berries feed the fish. That was a nice story, wasn't it, Monkey? Yes, and what a little beast Navy Cherry was. We hope you enjoyed our story today. Hope to see you again soon. So that's bye-bye from me, Nonny Wall, and bye-bye from Monkey. Bye-bye.